each German Panzer Regiment had a workshop company responsible for maintenance and battlefield recovery of the German tanks. This workshop company had an HQ platoon, two repair platoons with the mechanics and the third recovery platoon with five heavy 18-ton half-track prime movers. This prime mover was the Sonderkraftfahrzeug or Special Purpose Vehicle 9, also known as the FAMO, the heaviest half-track vehicle of any type built in quantity in Germany during the war years. Approximately 2,500 were produced between 1938 and 1945. It was designed to have a towing capacity of 28 tons. This was enough for medium tanks like the Panzer IV, but two or even three were necessary for the heavier vehicles like the Tiger Van tank. Another variant mounted a six-ton capacity crane on the cruise bench seat and the cargo compartment. It was issued to tank maintenance units from September 1941. The repair sections were responsible for the general maintenance of the tanks and of their armament and radio apparatus. In camp and rest areas, they keep a check upon the serviceability of vehicles in the unit of which they are attached. On the march, repair sections travel with the tank unit and deal with any breakdowns in vehicles or equipment in so far as these repairs can be effected in less than four hours and with field equipment. If a tank breaks down, the repair section leader inspects it and determines the nature of the damage. If the damage warrants it, the tank is handed over to the recovery platoon to be towed away, otherwise a motorcycle with mechanics stay with the tank to effect repairs, while other elements of the repair section go on with the column. In this way, one vehicle after another of the repair section stays behind. Ordinarily, the motorcycles, but if damage is serious, a half-dragged vehicle. The repair automobile always goes on with the column, while the repair truck always stays with the repair vehicle left furthest to the rear. In the assembly area, the repair sections to roughly test all tanks and equipment as to fitness for battle. Any breakdowns are reported at once to the unit motor transport sergeant. In battle, the company repair sections are under the order of the battalion commander and are directed by a battalion motor transport officer. As a rule, they follow closely behind the fighting units and range over the battle area looking for broken down tanks. If the tank cannot be repaired on the spot, it is made towable and its position reported to the recovery platoon of the workshop company. The armored workshop company operates as far as 15 to 20 miles behind the fighting tanks of its regiment, except that the recovery platoon works in the battle area mainly to tow out disabled tanks. The workshop company handles heavy air repair jobs up to those requiring 12 hours. Repair jobs requiring up to 24 hours are sent back to rear repair bases. The workshop company has its own power tools, a crane and apparatus for electric welding. Its platoons may be separated and may operate independently. According to one capture document, a workshop company dealt with 18 tanks in 17 days under conditions where there was no shortage of spare parts. And now let's discuss the tank recovery methods of the German army. All observers stress the efficiency of the German recovery and maintenance units. The following points have been noted. 
Generally, the main duty of the recovery platoon was to tow disabled German tanks from the battlefield. But the Germans used combat tanks to tow disabled tanks in case of retreat, even during a battle. Instances are reported both from France and Africa where combat tanks were employed both to protect towing operations and to assist in the towing. The recovery platoon with its trailers is not given the whole burden of this main job of salvage. The same principle of cooperation prevails on repair jobs in the field. Tanks carry many tools, spare parts and equipment for repair work and observers believe that the tank crews are trained to assist the repair crews as well as to service and maintain their own vehicles. Not only is the recovery of German vehicles very efficient, but units will often send out detachments to recover those of the enemy. For instance, a tank battalion may send out a detachment consisting of an officer, one or two NCOs and six or eight men transported in one or two cross-country vehicles and protected by one or two light tanks to search for and recover disabled hostile vehicles.